back to another vlog. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is my 11th vlog. Um, time is going by, by so, so fast. Um, it's around 9, 9am, 9 9am. 9 this morning we had a very lazy morning. We lay in till like seven. I got Theodore up and we just had cuddles in bed. Okay, don't hate on me for that. Some people are like really against having people's like dogs in their bed, but um, we had cuddles in bed and then um, got up, got ready, did my makeup, my hair and everything. And we just kind of waited because we wanted to wait for the rain to pass. If you live in the UK, if, if you're watching and you don't live in the UK, then you're really lucky. But oh, it has just been relentless rain after rain storm after storm and i'm not saying like i know the uk is known for like really bad weather but this is like out of control and it's just painful like so painful like, you just can't like go out without either getting soaking wet or the dogs getting soaking wet it's just it's honestly a nightmare we went on a nice evening walk and it was just like so muddy, like so muddy. I'm quite a jump on Theodore thinking that he wouldn't get muddy, but he had to have a bath anyway. Good news is, it, uh, is as well, I don't know if I've ever told you that Theodore's just like not a fan of the bath. We have to like, we do a whole routine, right? We have spa music, we have treats. We make it such a nice experience for him. It is wild. <laughs> and he is finally like just chilling in the bath whilst we like shower him down. It's a dream, honestly um so that was really good and he's like not scared of the header anymore which is fantastic oh yeah by the way guys from last week's vlog you would have seen that we got these juices from daily dose and we have some still left over there's so many green juices left so trying to have one a day i've had all the ones that are slightly sweeter and this is like no apple or anything in but it's still really good a great way to start the day um but yeah we had a really really busy week with the nine to five and then um just to quickly update you what we're doing this weekend so I spent a lot of time in London last week I genuinely think I was nearly suffering from burnout and I was meant to be meeting a lovely girl that I've met on Instagram this week um well I met her on Instagram like nearly a year ago now but I um was meant to be meeting her on Sunday but I just had to cancel it's just one of those things where I'm so close to suffering from burnout I needed the weekend at home um, but just because we're at home doesn't mean it's not going to be fun and just because George is not in it doesn't mean it's not going to be fun either. Um, so I've got some unboxings to do with you, with you and then we're going to try stuff on, put some outfits together which is obviously my favourite thing to do and what my channel is here for. Um, and then we are going for a cute cosy morning in Marlow in like an hour's time where we're going to grab some coffees, wander around etc, take the other on a walk and then just have like a nice morning. And then on... This afternoon we're going to do some more filming and then on Sunday we are taking him back to Offley training which you know was a nightmare last time but we're actually going with a Bernese mountain dog which is like 40 kilograms and Theodore is like 6 kilos. I mean this one is a puppy so he's like 20-25 kilos already but still <laughs> they made such good friends at puppy training so we decided to meet up with the owners and go and take him Offley training and pay like do this thing. So we're going to do that if the weather's good tomorrow. It said it might snow, so we will see if it snows, it snows. If, if it snows, I think we'll still go for some nice coffee and like a mooch and maybe some breakfast. And then I'm gonna cook a nice recipe with you guys this evening. And what else are we going to do? Um, yeah, it's just gonna be very like a weekly vlog style. Um, just wanted to say, I have gone up quite, been quite a few followers in the past couple of weeks. So if you're new here, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, it really would mean the world to me if you just hit that button down below um, and like, comment, engage. I love speaking to you guys in the comments. People are so nice. So I would just, if you have any questions or just want to talk about anything, please let me know. Now. We do have a really exciting announcement coming and I kind of wanted to do a whole separate video on it but I thought I would just like pre pre go through it now um and it's not an official official launch but also I want David to be here when we talk about it properly because it's definitely his baby um we are launching a business I know I actually can't believe it um it's been a year and a half in the making, which is crazy, crazy to say. Um, a year and a half is a really long time. 
And when I say we, I'm definitely involved and I'm definitely helping, but David is definitely like running the show, I guess. Um, I just wanted to take a moment as well, just to say how proud I am of him, because if any of you watching know him, if you don't know him, he is like the most entrepreneurial creative person I've probably ever met. And I actually find it really crazy wild how um, he comes up with like the most amazing concepts, the most amazing brands and like, he will literally be in the car and he will have come up with like 10 actually really solid business ideas and he will go home and explore them and that's how he spends his weekend. Like investigating, seeing what would work, is there like good market research behind it? Does he think there's a gap in the market? What's the competitor at? Like he will spend the time. And then when we knew about a year and a half ago that we wanted to get a dog, we started to do some research and we started to see a bit of a gap in the market for people our age who are looking like to get a puppy they're not they don't look they're, they're childless and this isn't just the, the the market for the brand but there's a lot of people in their 20s early 30s that have had kids and they have dogs and they're like this double income dog and he really just saw an opportunity to kind of create a brand for that generation to be honest there's a lot of like really brands that really don't match our aesthetic out there like they match some people's aesthetic but they really don't match ours and we just wanted to also focus on the quality piece as well because we've tried quite a few brands since having Theodore and really noticed that the quality sometimes isn't there. Um, and this is no hate on any brands, by the way, at all. We just want to do things differently and are in, in our way. So yesterday we announced on his Instagram that we are launching a brand called By Teddy and it is a dog lifestyle brand and there is so much exciting stuff to come. We will be launching very, very soon. We're going on with pre-orders very, very soon. And yeah, it's just really, really exciting. And if any of you have a dog, we, um, and even if you live abroad, we will be shipping abroad. So we would love for you to follow and join our journey. I'll leave the links and everything down below. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce it with that. If you have any questions about it, what, what kind of things are we launching, what it looks like and everything, feel free. Like I could talk about this kind of stuff for days. Um, and yeah, we're just really, really excited. Um, so yeah. Right, let's do the unboxings. First up is Adidas shoes. Now, if you follow anyone on Instagram, you'll probably see that these have gone live viral. I've also ordered another pair and I'm gonna have to choose between the two, but I thought they haven't arrived. They're meant to arrive yesterday and Yodel said they couldn't deliver, but I was at home and I just get so frustrated when that happens because it's like, I was at home. You didn't even try ringing the buzzer because um, I would hear it if they did. So I've picked these up. Now, I do like them, but you know I wear my Adidas Ambers to death. Um, so I did want like another pair of like neutral ones that were a little bit different. And they've got this like black stripe detailing. They are from the Spezel range. I don't know how to say that. They're not as easy to say as Sambas. But they've got white laces, which is the one thing I'm not sure on. But like, obviously they would have white laces. They've got like this brown sole. And I just thought it would really cute with spring, summer outfits. And also I'm going to Copenhagen. So I actually did. And like my Adidas sounds are getting a bit ruined. So I need, and the, the, like the suede, I need to tidy them up. So we've got these and let's like put some outfits together today and like have a look at like what they would look like. So I think that's the most important thing. So what they could look like with other outfits. Guys, next up is the H&M bag that should have arrived for the haul last week, but it didn't. And you know what? I'm kind of glad that it didn't because I think it deserves its own moment. Now, I think in the last video, you would have seen I was a bit negative and critical on like the the quality of some of the H&M bags, which is why I only decided to keep the one that you like hold. Now, this bag, when I say the quality is so much better, it really is, it is a keeper and I am keeping it. She is so, so beautiful. She's actually a really good size. Again, she like, like the other one that I showed you, much bigger than I thought she was gonna be. And I just think for spring, summer, what a gorgeous day bag. And like, I actually, even evenings, like, stunning and I like how the gold clasp isn't too intense um really 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 beautiful if you manage to get your hands on this or it's still I'll check if it's still in stock and I'll link it down below if you do like I would really recommend it I think for high street this is such a good bag um and I'll put an outfit together today so we can 
you know, I can wear it and I'm definitely gonna take it out with me because it's stunning. You can also shorten the strap if it's too long here, but I am obsessed. Actually, am I gonna take it out today because the weather is rubbish? Maybe not just in case it rains and it gets ruined, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay guys, next up is another Zara haul. I know, it's like a weekly thing at this point, but we have to, it's not a weekly thing, it's like a bi-weekly thing, but I'm always trying new things and I want to show you guys the best things from Zara and H&M because they are the most affordable high street brands and sometimes I think you can get some really good gems. So first of all, I've gone for something slightly different. I'm really trying to find the right grey pieces for my wardrobe because I don't really have any. I think I have like one grey cardigan and that is it. So I picked up some grey trousers and they're like linen style. And I just thought for summer they could be quite cute. And they're like wide legged. Um, so we'll try those on. They could be like nice with like a white tee, even with that bag, some sambas, or the other Adidas shoes. I can't say them. Oh, hey God. Should we say hello? Oh, Theodore, are you launching your own business? Yes. Oh, sweetheart. Okay, I can put you down. He's so cute in his little fluffy jumper. That may or may not be a sample of something we are launching. So next up are these jeans from Zara. Now they're, they're mini they're mini flare and what I loved about them is the pocket detailing on the front I just thought was quite different. Um, but they do look quite small. And I, as we know, I have wide hips, so we'll have to see, we'll have to see. And as a backup, I, I ordered another pair, but not the same style. It was more like a they're a size, they're both a size 36, but these are high rise straight, and I love a straight jean, so we'll give those a go as well. Then I ordered this because I just need a white jumper that's cheap, to be honest, um, and I thought it was quite cute as like a throw over one, but we'll definitely see, it's, it, it kind of looks very see-through, and it has this detailing on it where it says, Montem Montmartre 1974. Um, it's cute, we'll see. I think I just wanted an oversized hoodie. I went for quite a big size. I went for a medium because it said oversized like on the label thing. And then, so I am actually going to a really exciting event next week, which will be in next week's vlog. And I've ordered these. How cute are they? They are like, um, and they're a low heel, let me show you that one. Like a low heel, but they've got like this bow detailing and like pointy toe. And I just think they're the most gorgeous shoes. And I think for like really nice events and even in the winter months and like festive season, I will get so much wear out of these. So I'm definitely, I definitely am gonna keep them. I've already tried them on the store. So I'm not gonna try them on with you today, but you'll see in next week's video what these look like and what I pair them with because I've actually rented a dress for the event which I've never done before I'm actually so nervous if it doesn't arrive I'm actually gonna cry because I will have nothing to wear um so yeah and then the final piece is something a bit different because I'm such a gold jewelry girl so I'm gonna have to wear silver jewelry if I end up keeping this um I just thought like a nice navy jacket like this it gives me it's giving me Massimo Gucci vibes and it's got this like nice silver clasp detail on detailing on the buttons and I just thought it looks really expensive but also it would go really nicely with like blue jeans grey jeans um smart trousers um heels etc so we're gonna try all of that on in a little bit and then I just wanted to show you one Oh no, one, two, three more parcels. Two are gifted, but one that I paid for. We'll go through that first. Pretty crazy. I've done, I've ordered two suits from Naked Fashion because they are gorgeous. Well, they looked gorgeous. And I, when it goes to, when I come go to the office, maybe I should do an office series on what I wear to the office. When I go to the office, I love wearing oversized suits. And the only one I really have is a black one, um, which is like a 
oversized pairs from Naked Fashion and I have a couple of pairs of trout black trousers from and other stories in Naked Fashion and I remember trying on one in Zara last year and I wish I wish I got it because it was actually so 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 gorgeous it was like this time last year so I'm gonna look out for it again because sometimes they really bring things out but I've got two suits and I'm going to have to keep only one of them okay guys so the first one is this cream colored one with the matching trousers of course and the next one is because I'm living in my brown era so I don't know if I'm gonna love this forever but how I love the colour on this. So these are the trousers, exactly the same style. Then then this is the oversized blazer and they do have like shoulder padding in them. So I don't know if they're gonna come across as like too, too like oversized, but we will definitely try them both together and we need to decide which one I'm gonna keep. I cannot keep both. They were quite pricey, even though I got them in a sale. And finally, I got two PR parcels this week, which I want to share with you. Now, the first one I'm not too sure on, but they offered to send me this, and I thought it could be quite good for this event that I'm going to. And you, you'll understand when you see the dress that I'm wearing. I've got to film a reel for it, but it's basically this like very glittery, it's got gold class detailing. And I just thought you can't go wrong with a bag like this in your wardrobe. Um, and if you like open it up, I'm taking the bits out. It's quite a good size and you've got like a safety pocket for stuff in there as well. It's got a brand called Verano. And yeah, I just think it's like really cute. And I mean, it's like not my typical style, but I think it's like perfect for these like glitzy glam events that you go to. Um, so yeah. So I've already opened it because I had to use it. As soon as it arrived, I was like, I need to use these products. It's from a brand, brand called Flannery. Now, the reason I've never spoken to you about this brand before is because I ran out recently, like, like two months ago of their stuff. And they very kindly offered to send me some more stuff and it's just arrived. Um, and they actually sent me an extra product, which I didn't know they were doing. So thank you so much, Flannery. Now, this isn't like a famous or like super popular brand from what I've seen. Like, I don't think they're like in any stores really in the UK, it's just like a DTC business, but they are doing amazing products. And I'm really not saying that this is not an ad, this is just gifted. This is the third time I've had their cream. Um, it's, it's a nine cinnamide antioxidizing day moisturizer. And when I say like, I haven't used it in so long, I was using a La Roche one, which you've just seen in the previous video, the video before that, that I've been using was not working. It just wasn't working and it was really, my skin has been breaking out so badly recently. This stuff is like honestly a pot of gold. I don't even know how to explain it. It works so well on my skin and I have really bad combination skin that gets super oily. It also has SPF 20 in it as well. Um, so you don't have to do like double, double layers. And then they've also very kindly sent me this um, hyaluronic serum. Now, I started using it before I put on my moisturiser. Again, it's gorgeous. And also, I do love the packaging, guys, by the way. It's made in Italy. Um, and it has, like, QR codes on the pack, which I love on packaging, just, like, if you want to know more about the, more about the product. Um, also, let me just show you what the tub looks like. So, this is the tub for this one as well. But yeah, I really, really, really love their products. I really do. They are like so, so good. Um, it has things like avocado oil in, hyaluronic acid, avocado oil. It's lightweight, that, that's true. It has like a really nice subtle scent, nice pH levels. Really good. I would really recommend you check them out. I'll link them down below. Now, the weather has cleared quite a lot here, so I'm actually gonna go up now. We're gonna walk through it, we're gonna get coffee. And I'm gonna take you along with me, of course. But I wanted to like try on everything with you guys, but I've got all day and I've got all of tomorrow as well to try on with you guys anyway. So let's let's go out and get ready for the day and then um, we can come back and try everything on in a bit. It will only be like five minutes of footage before you see it. So yeah, let's go get ready. <laughs> okay guys, I, um, I'm actually going for jeans and I don't know why, because if it rains, I'm screwed. But 
I've got on my trusty H&M jumper, Zara jeans. I've got my old Sambas on. And I thought I would put on this mango coat because I love this coat and I actually don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to work for as it becomes warmer. So I'm just gonna go with it today and stay nice and cozy because not only is it raining, it is like minus temperatures outside, which is just fantastic. So minus one. Oh, are you tired? Hi. He's like, can we? Hi, does anyone just love their dog so, so much? I don't know what I would do without him. Oh, puppy. We're gonna go on a walk now, get some coffees. Puppy, can you walk up? Don't worry, we're good. So yeah. Sunglasses, got my lip balm, got my bag. Maybe I should make this into a crossbody. I should probably do that. I've got a different strap lid. Okay, let's go. Actually, it looks quite. Oh my god, be careful because they do attack. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. No, no, this is a bad situation. Yeah. Let's not do that. How be. I've never seen them that do that before. He's peeing, he's peeing. Okay guys, that is meant to be where we were meant to be going, but the path is like completely flooded. I'm gonna try and show you. And there's some guy walking and there was another guy running through it. And Theodore just wants to play with the swans. And now, look, he's all muddy. Look, he was in his nice little jumper and it's all, all dirty. <laughs> That's gonna have to go in the wash. It's a good test to see if it washes well. <laughs> Right, are we, should we go eat? Let's go eat. Let's continue the walk and go eat, yeah? Hey guys, we are back from Marlo. You would have seen we got some lunch smoothies, coffee, walk. And what was crazy is, I know I've gone about on about how bad the weather has been, but like the path we were meant to walk on was completely flooded. But like some crazy guy was like running through it, people taking their dogs through it. When I say it was flooded, it was like probably up to like knee height. So we decided to abort mission because you would have seen Theodore's lovely, lovely jumper. We didn't want to get him too dirty. And also there's like so many nice places you can walk around Marlow without getting dirty. But yeah. Let's try on the bits I took you through this morning. Guys, we have a problem. First of all, I love the fit. No, a problem in a good way, by the way. I, I just love it, and I know I'm gonna love the other color just as much. But I basically put on the brown one. So you can see here, this like structured shoulders. It's nice and oversized. I got the 36, which I think is a size eight, but it's like very oversized, obviously. I actually haven't put on like a top underneath this. It's just like bra. Um, let me bring you down so we can see everything properly. 
So yeah, these are like the trousers. I paired my Zara brown boots with them. Um, but yeah, I actually just think the colour is so nice and it's just like a little bit different. Um, love the oversized fit. Let's see what bag would work with that. That Gucci Jackie Jeep from H&M. And I know it's black, but I really like that. I think it does work quite well, you know. Um, my Pelene could work quite nicely with it. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, I actually think the suit is like really cute. What do you guys think? I also think the blazer just is perfect for, like, this as a set is really nice. That You could pair the trousers with, like, so many different top options and other things. It doesn't have to be like an all brown suit. And then you can pair the blazer with like jeans, black trousers, cream trousers. So it's like very versatile for the capsule wardrobe. Um, do you love it or do you hate it? What do you think? And uh, let's try on the cream one. Okay guys, I've got the next one on. And what was funny is I just showed, I always show David when I buy new things and get his opinion on things. Not that I need his opinion, but I always just find it funny because he's always very critical. And he actually just said that he really liked the brown one, which is like a huge one. He's like, hmm, that actually does really suit you, which is just very referencing. I've tried this one on and he doesn't like it as much, but I just don't think he really looked at it properly. But I actually love them both and I think I want to give them both because I just think it's really hard to come by suits that suit you, like oversized suits that suit you in a certain way if you're looking for it in a certain way and I just think for work they're perfect and they, they were for both suits it was under £200 um, within the sale and I'll link them down below but I just think they're like a really great fit and this blazer would come in real handy when I'm like um, like pairing it with jeans and stuff as well and mixing it up so I do really really like them also guys we forgot to mention what today is. I actually can't believe I forgot to mention it. It is race day. Formula One race day. Oh my God. First race day of the year, but by, by, I never know how to say it. Byron, by, Byron Grand Prix. Um, I'm so excited. In the practice on Thursday, we looked like Mercedes were doing well. And now, oh, Verstappen is on pole, but I have it on here. So if I seem distracted whilst I'm trying to show you the clothes, it's because it's there, but the sound isn't on, obviously, because I'm talking to you guys. But I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Anyone else an F1 um, fan? Let me know in the comment box down below. Would love to know who you support. If you just watch it because you enjoy it. Do you watch it because of the guys? Do you watch it for? I don't even know. I just love it so much. I love the personalities, the teams, people, like just the fashion that they wear. Like Lewis Hamilton is always coming out with amazing style. Um, and I just love the drama, live for the drama, live for the sport. I think it's so incredible how brave these people are because it's actually really, really dangerous. Um, but yeah, let's try on the Zara order. I'm so sorry, I completely forgot. This bag goes way better with this suit. I'm just thinking like in London, how chic do you look? And you're literally wearing everything from like a high street brand. Look, the colour matches perfectly, obsessed. Alright guys, I've got the white jumper on from Zara and I actually think it is really cute. It's like a great size, oversized fit. The only thing is it's a bit see-through, but if you've got like a white top on underneath it would be fine. Then I tried on the jeans, but honestly they are not a vibe. They're like, they kind of feel like jegging jeans. They're like very stretchy, but I just don't love the fit of them. The pocket detailing is cute, but they're just not my favourite. They're just not worth it, I don't think. Um, and then I put on those Adidas shoes. But I've got the wrong socks, I've got like my added and ribbed, ribbed ones, and they are so comfy. I don't know what um, this type of shoes they've done, but they've put like a little like raised bit on where your arch would be, and it's like cushiony, and it feels kind of weird. Like I've never had that in a shoe before, but really comfy at the same time. So I really love them actually. I think they are really, really cute, but I sized up to a six and a half, because I'm normally between a six and a seven, and they're actually feeling a bit roomy. Um, but yeah, a bit weird. Um, so maybe I need it to size down. I'm a bit worried about that now, but we'll see. Um, let's try on the other bits. Okay guys, I've got the um, blue jacket on with that 
silver button detailing. It is really cute, but I can't help but think I'd rather have it if it had like a matching skirt. It sounds ridiculous. And I've got the other blue jeans on, which I don't actually love. Like they're a nice fit, but they just don't feel very thick and nice compared to like Abercrombie jeans and other Zara jeans I've bought before. So again, I think I'm gonna have to send these ones back. And because I'm not vibing that much with this jacket, like if I compare it to when I just tried on this suit, I'm not like, I don't love it. So I definitely think they are gonna be going back. And yeah, that's just the reality of ordering stuff online sometimes. You just don't know. Oh my God. You just don't know how it's gonna fit, what it's gonna look like. So yeah, um, I've actually got one more thing. One more pair of trousers to try on with you guys. Um, and that is it. You know what guys, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised at these grey trousers. Um, I'm popping you down. What do you think? I don't have anything like it in my wardrobe. Um, and again, I think it, pa it pairs really well with like navy and whites. And I think for summer, they're really light and airy for work. I think I can get away with them and they feel like, almost like your, um, wearing pajamas <laughs> um because then from the side from the back um yeah what do you think i've just paired it with this navy jumper that i've got from h&m um they're a bit roomy like gapey around here but i think that's fine um so yeah what do we think i really struggle with summer office wear because i don't really like to wear dresses and stuff to the office so I think this could work, but let me know in the description box, box down below. I do find that I'm buying a lot of like nice trousers at the moment because I've never really invested in my trousers. Like I've always just had the same old staples, but these are really quite great actually. So yeah. We are watching Ted Kravitz. I never know how to say his name, Ted Kravitz's notebook. Anyone else that watches this on Sky? I. I really enjoy it. I actually find he gives like all the tea, he explains things really, really well. And I just find it quite funny. Um, I don't know. I don't know what funny like, as in like, I don't take it seriously. Like I just find it like really like an entertaining watch and he always bumps into like really interesting people. Also, because we got Theodore before F1 season had finished, he never really like watched it before. So I'm really excited to have like race weekends with him. Anyone else that's an F1 fan feel the same? Um, that may sound really cringe, but it's what it is. Um, so yeah, that's it for the try-ons. Um, I was going to film it all for Instagram, but to be honest, with the race starting soon and I feel like I've got loads of like, house chores I want to, to do. I'm just going to like, just do it tomorrow. Also, my hair's on completely flat. I didn't put any like hairspray really in or anything when I did my hair this morning. So that's an hour to not last today. So I think I'm just going to, once we're back from Berkham said tomorrow, do, do all my filming for that tomorrow and just have some more time to think about like, my looks and stuff. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in a moment.